Hi, I'm Ernie Shemizi, and welcome to WVBH TV's coverage of the 18th annual Heart of the Hamptons Ball. Dr. Girardi, congratulations on this great honor, distinction of being one of our distinguished uh, recipients here tonight. Uh, your career is something, and looking at uh, uh, your career at New York Hospital and where you've progressed from there, what does the American Heart Association mean to you as a doctor who, who works this every day? Well, the, the thing that we really appreciate about the Heart Association is all the work that they do in awareness. You know, so many people don't know that they have problems. So many people don't understand the importance of their diet, their cholesterol, their family histories, and they do a great job of, of keeping the public aware, getting physicians aware. And then the other thing that they do for us that's even more important now than ever is, is help us raise money for research. And as you know, it's, it's just getting more and more difficult. Um, the government funding isn't what it used to be, and associations like the American Heart are vital uh, to keeping things moving forward so we can try our best to, to cure disease, to fix disease, to make people better without having to need for guys like me, uh, whom nobody really wants to see or meet, but we're there to help and things don't quite go the way they should. Well, congratulations on being this year's recipient of the Distinguished Service Award. You're one of the uh, superstars of this uh, field. And I see that you share uh, uh, part of your honor is you're working with Dr. Isom, yes. who we know very well, who's, yes. who's a regular out here. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, and, he is. And has he been a mentor to you in your career? He, he has been a mentor in, in more ways than I can even elucidate uh, here. He's not only taught me many things as a surgeon, um, but as a person. Um, I admire him for so many reasons beyond what he taught me in the operating room and how to take care of people. He, he taught me how to treat people, uh, not just in the hospital, but everywhere in your whole life. You know, the importance of, of being nice to everybody, and as he likes to say, treating everybody as if they were your mama and your daddy. And that's what he would tell you every time, and I, I try to live by that. Joined by Dr. Carl Krieger, who is also a Distinguished Service Honoree here at the um, American Heart Association event. But tonight you have a different role. Well, tonight I get to introduce one of the Distinguished Honorees. His name is Dr. Lynn Girardi. He's an outstanding surgeon. Um, he specializes in aortic, aortic aneurysm surgery. He's at New York Presbyterian Hospital, and he's been there. He's the busiest surgeon in New York State and one of the most outstanding surgeons in the country. So I'm very pleased to be able to introduce him as an honoree. Doctor, how important are events such as this? I, I think there's two aspects of this event that's important. First of all, it raises money for the American Heart Association. But more importantly, I think it brings awareness of cardiovascular issues, puts them on the table, uh, provides a format for people to think about their own health and and to think about the health of their loved ones. So it's a great event to increase the awareness of cardiovascular disease in this country, which you all know is the number one killer. You know, when, when I interviewed um, uh, Leonard, who you work with, yeah. uh, Dr. Girardi, who's being honored tonight, he said the object is to try to solve problems before they come to your level. Well, in, in the best of all worlds, that's the case. You know, if we can practice preventive medicine, and then you don't need surgeons like Dr. Girardi or myself. But as it, the reality is that patients do come to us on a regular basis and they're in dire situations and, and so cardiovascular uh, physicians, surgeons and cardiologists have uh, the job of taking care of them in acute crises. Thank you so much. It is our pleasure to be joined by Dr. Wayne Isom. Dr. Isom, Chairman of New York uh, Presbyterian Weill Medical College. I uh, can't, that title is it's, too much. There's there so many of them, it's hard to keep up with it. But yeah, it's uh, New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center. Well, sir, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You're 
you're legendary in this business well, and tonight we honor uh, the men and women who are a part of uh, this healing profession and support the American Heart Association. Now well, you've got Carl Krieger and uh, Lynn Girardi. They're Lynn and Girardi is the honoree and actually Lynn is the, the busiest heart surgeon in the United States. He does more cases than anybody in the U.S. and does them really well. Got the, some of the best mortality. So it's really appropriate that we're honoring him because he gets really good results. This profession that you're in is at the highest level. You save people's lives who many, as uh, one of our uh, honorees this evening, uh, he was hours away from passing away at an aneurysm and was operated by Dr. Girardi. In, in your seeing this firsthand, major advancements have taken place, uh, haven't they? Sir? Oh yeah, really, really have, and they continue and they they progress at just a, a rapid rate. Many of the operations I do today were not even done when I was doing my training, so you have to continue training constantly yourself, continually learning. To hear your kind words about Dr. Girardi, who I interviewed earlier and he reciprocated uh, concerning yourself, sir, as a mentor for uh, for him. You know, we're so blessed to be here in New York and have the talents of uh, great individuals like, uh, like yourself and Dr. Uh, Krieger, as you mentioned, who's also been honored at this event. Prevention is an important part of this. That's what Dr. Krieger mentioned, that if we can get to people before they need to go to the super surgeon. Well, I, that's what I've always said, you know, we, we get the horse in, after it's already out of the barn. What we should do is get the, keep the horse in the barn. We, we get them out of the barn. If they take care of themselves, but they do well, but we, the prevention and then, then the continued care of decreasing the risk. And that's, that's pretty well known now. So we should be working on that too. And that's and that, the role of the American Heart Association. And, and the Heart Association really does that. Well, continued success, sir. Thank you for bringing uh, life and the best in medical care. I'll just mention one other thing. The honoree last year was Todd Rosengart, who is now the DeBakey chairman of surgery in Houston. And his, his work initially, he was with us many years, and his work initially was the, funded by the American Heart Association, or New York Heart Association, with gene therapy in the heart, and that sort of got him started. Then he got the National Institutes of Health funds. So the, the New York Heart and American Heart, Long Island Heart, provides funds for young investigators to get started in, in, with the new ideas. So it, it does a fantastic job in research. It's an exciting time in your profession, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it really is.